Want to get to know me as I'm getting to know myself, taking this path like everyone else. Nothing's different besides the words that I choose to tell myself, though I know sometimes I can be a bully. Sometimes I can not fully love who I am, but I love me. Taking my time as these words come undone, undoing false beliefs like a web being unspun. Somebody help me, so I say, but I know that all I need to do is pray and bring those guides and my angels. That's the way for me. Doesn't mean that you have to agree fully. Doesn't mean that you have to participate. Maybe you will close the screen and say, this girl's crazy and that's okay. Because I know the Lord made me. And yes, we call it the universe. And for some reason there's a gap in between and we all feel like it's a curse to talk to something like a being of light. I'm being of light. Light is being light, right? And I'm not all about only the positiveness, only because I know that there are some stresses in this world. I know that there are men out there raping little girls, and I know that there's a lot that we don't understand fully, but I do understand that people are going through their own cycles, people are going through their own challenges, and yes, that man has no right to do anything to that child, but yet he is going to, because he is a tough, suffering child inside. He has been through and through and through and denied in society, his way of life and love was never something that he knew. And that little girl, if you believe in reincarnation, decided to be a story for our nation to show the truth of a soul's dedication to help us expand. And I'm not saying that it's okay for any man to have a disgusting plan such as rape. But I do believe that we all share a fate and we all came here to undo things that we can't remember. We chose to create these idyllic, ideal ballistic ideas that are ballistic that keep us going in, in cycles and cycles and for some reason we keep missing it but I ask you what part of yourself do you want to undo what part of yourself can you bring to the moment and please I'm not saying when you're praying you got to get down on your knees and you have to be in the church because the church is yourself the church is inside the temple and not pride and not judgment because people do it different they're doing it so that's different everybody's sharing the same space no matter if you're sitting on pillows in a Buddhist space everyone's doing something different our minds go into different places and no one is completely clear of it because there's so much to do there's so much to speak, there's so much to dream, there's so much to know, there's so much to show, there's so much growing as our nails and hair grow. All I'm saying is that you're not alone if you're feeling that you're alone and that no one else is home. You ain't crazy. You're just doing it on your own. That's your path. And the path is the same. It ends to the same fate. Death. It's where we all will remain. And maybe, possibly, we come back and we try to do it all again. Jumping into another family who pretends to be okay. When really, there's some messed up stuff going on in some type of way. But I'm not trying to point any fingers. And I'm not trying to say that everybody's wrong you just ain't been taught right or perhaps the wrong is right for your soul to take that infinite flight that you have no clue about that you can't see but for some reason you like to stew about 
trying to figure out the whys and the hows and how can I get it all in the right now, but you can choose peace. You can have peace by sitting and contemplating and choosing peace. Meditation is a powerful thing, but if that's not your thing, then maybe you'll go sit at the beach and sip on a pina colada and not talk a lot of shit. Maybe you'll still be thinking it, but you'll still be at some type of peace as the waves ripple in, as the sun sets in. That is the time to unspin and spend time with you. And I will continue to pray as I do, as I feel is true for me. And I hope that everyone in this humanity will start to see that they can express themselves in different ways. They can ask for help and maybe even say, I messed up, I was wrong. I'm sorry, can we move on? And you can't be upset if you apologize and they don't want to accept your apology because there's something inside them that doesn't line up with your being. But yet they're seeing and they're processing and going through their own mess. And it's my guess that this is how it all works. So if I have created or started any type of hurt in you, I apologize and I bow as Buddhists do. And I'm not saying that I'm Buddhist, but I do like Buddha and I love Jesus too. I love any ascension being who's come here to bring a new, to speak the truth. Powerful and light and deuce. May you be true to your roots. And I can have a name man and I can say Namu Mirabutsu.